The Aboriginal Heritage Project is making use of a remarkable collection of hair samples held here at the South Australian Museum that were collected with permission from Aboriginal people across Australia from the 1930s to the 1960s in a series of expeditions collecting genealogical information, language, song lines, art, everything that people were willing to pass on was recorded. Those hair samples contain DNA which we can use to reconstruct a map of Aboriginal Australia prior to the European disruption of Aboriginal culture. What we've found is we can actually see right the way back to the first colonisation of Australia by Aboriginal people and we can actually then see this very rapid movement. So about 50,000 years ago they enter the top between New Guinea and Australia which were joined at the time and rapidly move around either coast and actually seem to meet somewhere around the Air Peninsula, not far from where we're standing here in Adelaide. And they did that incredibly fast, maybe only 1,500, 2,000 years to go right the way around Australia. And then the amazing bit is that they don't seem to move again once they've done that. There's small movements into the desert interior, but that basic pattern has held for 50,000 years. And what that means is that the, the attachment to country, the relationship Aboriginal people have to their particular country and why that's so important, is because they've been there for 50,000 years. That's longer than any other people anywhere in the world. We're hoping that the project leads to a rewriting of the history textbooks where we actually have detailed Aboriginal history and that the impact of saying that Aboriginal groups have been on their land for 50,000 years or so starts helping explain to politicians and other people in Australia why this is such an important cultural concept. I'm Professor Alan Cooper. I'm the director of the Australian Centre for Ancient DNA at the University of Adelaide.